Over the past few weeks, many of you have been asking me for a free AI tool that can create long-form animated videos. Well, I got some exciting news. I've just discovered an incredible free tool that lets you produce up to 10 minutes long AI animated videos and the results are amazing. Here's a quick example of the video that I made with it. Keto stood in the field. The sun beat down. He watched the hens pack. His small hands held a basket. He did not speak. The farm was quiet. Keto's eyes scanned the land. Memories of grandmother filled his mind. She had taught him to care, to heal, to love. Keto remembered her gentle touch, her warm smile, the way she tended the sick animals. She showed him how to bandage a hurt wing, how to feed a weak calf, how to listen for signs of pain. But then grandmother got sick. Keto was too young. Now, before I show you exactly how I created this video, I wanted to make sure that this AI tool can create long form videos up to 10 minutes long and can generate consistent characters throughout. And it can allow us to change things where we need to. And the tool that we're going to use is CapCut's new AI video maker. I'll leave a link below for CapCut where you can download it completely for free. Now, once you download CapCut in your PC, it will look like this. I'm using the PC version for this tutorial. Once CapCut is installed, we will see this button that says AI Video Maker. We just click on it. It will bring us to this new interface. Here what we want to do is select new project. Now this blank interface will open up. So what we want to do is to click on this button that says create one with AI. Once we select it, on our left we'll see this interface open up. Now here the first thing that we want to do is to enter a topic for our story. I'll call it the boy named Kito and here we need to enter some key points or a link of an article or story that you would love to get inspiration from. I already prepared some key points for the story that I have so I'll just paste them here. Just give the AI some inspiration. From there we need to choose a duration for our story. As you can see it can generate up to 10 minutes long but for the purpose of this tutorial we'll leave it at 3 minutes. From there we need to enter the mimic right writing style. So here on the mimic writing style, this is where you just imitate a writing style of someone else. Maybe the tone that Disney uses or the vocabulary that Illumination uses or their sentence structure. If you're not sure about the writing style, you can just click here to extract one from the video. So just paste in the one that I prepared. From there, we can enter some more details about the story that we want to create. So leave it just like the way it is and hit create. From there, it will write the entire story script for us. We can edit any part of the script if we want to. For example, when we highlight this part, we will see the rewrite option appear here. From there, we can ask the AI to improve the script or make it longer or make it shorter. I'll ask it to make it longer and the part that I highlighted will be made a little bit longer. If I cancel it and highlight everything, and ask it to make it longer, you will see it will write a longer version of my sentence. But I will click on cancel and leave it just like the way it is. Make sure that you go through this entire script that it writes for you. You don't want something generic and robotic. And once I'm happy with the way it looks, all I have to do is click use. From here, we need to select our voiceover. What we want to do is to come on our left and click on scenes and we'll see this interface open up. You can use an avatar. That's if your video needs to have an avatar or you want an avatar in your video. They've got all these different avatars to choose from, but we'll ignore that for now and click on voices. We'll select voice here. Then from there, we can create our own custom voice or we can choose from these pre-made voices that Cup Cut has and you have some categories to choose from. I'll go for narration. Take your time and select a voice that matches what you are creating. In this tutorial, I went with this neutral man's voice. From there, we need to select the media. Click on this media button here on top. Once it's selected, you will see there's three different options pop up. This option allows the AI to generate the footage for us and the animation. With Match Your Media, you can upload your video or pictures and the AI will sync them to your story. And with Match Stop Media, this is where you browse and use CapCut's inbuilt stock footage. That's if you want to. But we will click on Generate AI Media. 
media, because we are creating long form content, we'll go for 16 by 9 as our aspect ratio. Then we need to choose a style. There are a lot of styles as you can see, but I'll go for cartoon 3D. From there, all we have to do is click on applied or scene here at the bottom and click on continue. And once our media have been generated, for us to see exactly how the video looks, we need to click on this button that says a replace. Okay, and we'll be able to see the image that has just been generated. And this is the description that was used to generate our image. If we do not like the image or it does not match with what is being spoken, we can tweak the prompt and click on generate to replace the footage, which is there. I'll just click on cancel. And before you proceed to anything else, you can play the video here to see how everything looks. Okay. If you have reached this far, consider subscribing to our channel because more value awaits you. From here, all we have to do is click on element here. Here you can choose a number of things to add, like sound effects, the transitions, the subtitles, or the caption. When we click on the setting button here, we can change the elements, the sound effects, the stickers, and the video effects. I will remove the stickers and leave everything as is. And for the intensity, I will leave it at medium. From there, we can select a specific caption template that would love to use in our video from there we click on apply and not only that but when we select music here we can search for a specific music that we feel will blend well with the story that we are creating something like storytelling background music once you find a music sound that you really love just click on the plus icon here to add it to your story and on the setting here you can adjust the volume of your music from there all we have to do to get more control of our video is by clicking on the edit more button here on top this will open the full project in CapCut. Everything is on the timeline, the music, the media files, the voiceover, the sound effects. I mean, everything. Now, sometimes it generates the sound effects that I bit off to what is happening. So if you find out that the sound effects it has generated for you are not suiting with what you're creating, you can simply delete them. From there, add transitions between scenes. Just come to the top here and select transitions and browse through these transitions to choose a specific transition that you want for your video. Just drag and drop the transition there. Keto stood in the field. The sun beat down. From there, observe carefully on how everything looks. If you like the way it looks, you can proceed to the remaining scenes. When you observe carefully, almost all of our images are static images. If we want to animate a specific image into a video, we can simply select it and right click on our mouse and we'll see this option that says image to video. Just select it and you'll see the image uploaded here on top. From there, all you have to do is describe what you want to see happen. For example, say he watched the hands peck. From there, we can select the mode or leave it as is and the motion speed, I'll leave it to normal. The camera control, I'll leave it to default and the duration, I'll leave it to 5 seconds. This is good for me. And on the aspect ratio, I'll change it to 16 by 9. And once that is done, we can hit generate. As you can see, a message will pop up saying apply will consume 25 credits and I only have 1200 credits left. So I'll click on apply and i can go through the entire video and animate the images that i would love to animate as the image is animating here again we have the control to change the font style when we click on our font we'll see this option appear here when we select template we can choose a specific template that suits the video that we are creating i will stick to basics then i'll scroll down a little bit i'll click on this drop down arrow to see more then i'll click on this preset style from there i'll scroll down a little bit and reduce the opacity opacity of my shadow and how round the rectangle is, I'll reduce the height and I'll reduce the width just like that. I'll change the font style, I'll go for italic. And once our video is animated, this is the way to look. Watch the hands pack. His small hands held a basket. From there you can trim it to match the voiceover. And from there just highlight everything and drag everything together like that that's perfect from there that's how easy you can create ai animated videos using a free software if you have any question let me know in the comment section below i would really love to hear from you from there just export your video give an name to your video select a folder and choose a resolution and hit export your long form video is ready to be uploaded on your youtube channel let me play it for you to see how everything looks from here God bless you. See you in this next AI animated content. Keto stood in the field.
The sun beat down. He watched the hens peck. His small hands held a basket. He did not speak. The farm was quiet. Keto's eyes scanned the land. Memories of grandmother filled his mind. She had taught him to care, to heal, to love. Keto remembered her gentle touch, her warm smile, the way she tended the sick animals. She showed him how to bandage a hurt wing, how to feed a weak calf, how to listen for signs of pain. But then grandmother got sick. Keto was too young. He didn't know how to help. He watched her fade, like a flower without water. She left him alone. The pain was deep. It cut like a thorn, but Keto held on to her lessons. He cared for the farm. He tended the animals. He planted seeds of hope. At school, Keto listened hard. He learned about health, about the body, about medicine. His eyes grew wide with wonder. His heart beat with purpose. He saw himself in a white coat, helping people, saving lives. Like the doctor who tried to save grandmother, Keto wanted to be that person to stop others from feeling his pain. Each day, Keto worked. He studied. He dreamed. The farm taught him patience. The animals taught him kindness. The memory of grandmother taught him love. Keto helped a limping goat. He nursed a sick chicken. He comforted a scared dog. Each act of healing made him stronger, made his dream grow bigger. The village elders noticed. They saw his gentle hands, his caring heart. They nodded and smiled. They knew he would do great things. Keto's path was clear, from farm boy to healer, from pain to purpose. He would honor grandmother's memory. He would save lives. He would bring hope. The sun set on the farm. Keto walked home. His steps were sure. His heart was full. He carried his dream like a precious egg, fragile but full of life. Keto reached his door. He looked back at the land, at the animals, at the sky. He felt grandmother's spirit. He knew she was proud. He smiled. He did not speak.